Many Australian teenagers dream of representing their country on the biggest stage and just days after her 14th birthday, Tamsin Coley did just that. The Rio Paralympian knows what it takes to overcome adversity and her eyes are set on firmly doing it all again in Tokyo next year. It's these very grounds in Borkham Hills that has transformed and developed young Paralympian Tamsin Colley. At 18 years, she's eyeing off her second Paralympic Games in Tokyo, but at 18 months, her life took a dramatic turn. So I had surgery to a few brain tumors that I developed at 18 months, and yeah, this um, caused me to be diagnosed with cerebral palsy. My mum is a physio, so I um, was always on the lookout for ways for me to um, stay physically active and improve my rehabilitation, so we came across athletics and yeah, I loved it. She just never really was able to stand unsupported or sort of walk, um, and then yeah, being a, a physiotherapist, I sort of you know, chatted to a few colleagues and thought, yeah, you know, something's not right here, and you know, got sort of you know, the suitable help and yeah, ended up with a, um, a CT scan, which yeah, did show a massive brain tumour. Tamsin went through years of rehabilitation and needed a walker or wheelchair to get around. Hey, can you walk back to mummy? Hey, she's a clever girl. Three years later, she started competing regularly in athletics. There wasn't a lot of disability sports around, so I had to participate in mainstream athletics and it's a bit disheartening always like losing to your peers but I guess I was just having fun with it so I keep going. Tamsin rose up through the ranks very quickly and was ultimately selected to represent Australia at the 2016 Rio Paralympic Games in the women's 200 metres T36. She's the youngest Australian athlete to participate at the Games. Tamsin was just two days past her 14th birthday at the time of her race. Being so young and competing with people like three times my age in my race, that was cool and I felt like the underdog, but like, yeah, I did, well, I was on track to do a PB in September, unfortunately fell over. It's amazing, I mean, yeah, the, you know, as a parent to be able to see your child, you know, represent your country is, yeah, just incredible. Her achievements to date landed her the incredible opportunity to reignite the cauldron as part of the 20th anniversary of the Sydney Games. Cathy Freeman did a video message. She was stuck in Melbourne and then she said, yeah, she played a role in choosing us and it was really special. And then to follow in the footsteps of such amazing athletes such as her and Louisa Bars, who led the Paralympic flame, that was cool. Tamsin did say that she felt a little bit of a, of a burden now of being able to perform in the in the years to come. But you know, as I said to her, I you know I, I grabbed that, that that those words. I walked over to the bin and I put them in the bin. I said, no, it's not a burden. It's it, of expectation to perform. It's actually a wonderful achievement. For the meantime, her goal is to be on the plane for Tokyo next year. Once selection starts in December. Set. Well, currently in my 200 metres, which is my main event, my PB is 31.77, which is like 15 milliseconds off the qualification for Tokyo. I, I believe we're definitely on track for that. Uh, we just need, obviously, the, the current climate to... Uh, to get a little bit more safer and the green lights, but uh, speaking with the Athletics Australia and the Australian Paralympic Committee, they're very um, keen and they, they believe that um, the Tokyo Paralympics will go ahead. Tamsin is also about to wrap up September, where she walks 10,000 steps for 28 days in September to raise funds for vital equipment, research, therapy and services for people living with cerebral palsy. So I think it's so important for people, especially young people with disabilities, to stay active and it's um, so important to find an activity you like, enjoy doing. At just 18 years of age, the world is her oyster. Brian Vanderwacker, Sky News.